you guys are familiar with the late night infomercials? Oh, yeah. 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 All those crazy things that they invent and, and sell for you. We're going to improvise one of those for you. Uh, and so what we need to do is, does anyone have an object that we can borrow for the duration of this thing in your pen, purse, uh, pocket, any kind of an object we find? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, we're going to go with this, I think. All right. So here is the, the wonderful new product that we are going to sell to you. That should be right here. Uh, we're going to find out what it is, what it does, how much it costs, the whole bit. And we'll find out that in just a moment. Please give it up for infomercial. Hello! Welcome! Welcome to yet another episode of Passing Fancy, the show for things that you think you might want to purchase at 11.30 at night, but the next day you don't even remember seeing. <laughs> Why, look at this! It's our latest item here! Oh, we have inventions on this show and we strive, we search the world to bring you exciting new contraptions that are momentarily interesting enough for you to pony up about $20. <laughs> and look at this, we have one right here. The inventor of this particular contraption, I'm just about to bring her out. I'm sure you're excited to meet her. She has not been on our show until she, since she last brought on her one salt and pepper shaker combined. A single vessel for salt and pepper provided you like the ratio that they're already mixed at. <laughs> and with that under her belt, God knows what she's turned her attention to now. I'm excited to learn, so let's welcome her out. Please welcome out Dr. Helen Namaste. <laughs> yes, hello everybody. I am so glad to be here with you in the television world where you, of course, will want to buy my latest invention. I like to call them Ghost goggles. Ghost goggles. Ghost goggles. I'm yes. already excited, but slightly frightened. You should be. You should be, because I am licensed to carry a weapon. <laughs> now, my ghost goggles, you see here, are the latest in fashion and paranormal science. Paranormal. Paranormal. So, we're dealing with the supernatural, with dark magic of some type. Absolutely. The only magic I like is the dark magic, just like my coffee. Now, you see, the magic of these goggles is you put them on, and then you will be able to see if there are ghosts in your bathroom. Very similar to, but a copyrightable difference away from the plot line of the show 13 Ghosts. <laughs> yes, there were no ghosts there. You notice they didn't check the bathrooms. This, this will keep you safe from paranormal potty incidents. Say you go into your bathroom and you think you don't feel like you're alone anymore. I frequently go into my bathroom. How many of you have gone into your bathroom today? <laughs> it's a very popular room. It's a human experience. It is. So you're in the bathroom, you don't feel like you're alone anymore. You know, you, you feel like you should run the water just in case somebody or something is listening. No more guesswork. You can now see if there's a poltergeist in the potty. You just put on the glasses here, and as you see, they are stylishly sort of glittery, and this, yes, I'm working on a cheetah-type version. Uh, cheetah-type version. Well, it's fantastic. It's for people who want to get rid of paranormal apparitions and look like they're from the 80s. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you just put them on before you head into the toy toy. Hold on, Katrina and the sunshine there. Tell us how much this thing is going to cost us. Oh, it's easy. For the small price of $20 in three installments, plus a $49.9 installment after that, and then another $623 after you've had the glasses for six months, you too can own a pair of these glasses. But let the morning time version of you worry about all those details. Just order now. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm telling you, this will be the latest craze. Now, I do have to give a small disclaimer. It does not work in any other room, just the bathroom. If you were to wear this outside of the bathroom, well then, what you would see is just people who are overly fond of cats. Oh. It just shows you those people who are obsessed with their feline friends. Will this work in public restrooms? Because I often feel that there are apparitions and haunting elements within a restroom, often evincing themselves as an odor. <laughs> you should say this. Yes, there is an attack. 
attachment that you can put onto the glasses that you can now use them in public restrooms. Mind you, it is in fact a Groucho nose. So you put on the Groucho nose, or I'm also working on one that looks like a carrot for the wintertime festive kind of appeal. So you put that on, you head into that little bathroom there, and I'm telling you, you will spot the evil that is emanating from the sewers. There will be no question. If you are sitting there, and next to you in the stall is the spawn of a demon, you'll know it. <laughs> oh my God, finally, a way to know if I should reach for the bleach or reach for a phone to call a priest for an exorcism. <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes, you know, you don't have to be a banshee, poltergeist, demons, really depressed guys who just couldn't bring themselves to move on to the next level. And then Bloody Marys and other mirror-oriented apparitions. Absolutely. The bathroom is a flying location for those types of types. Well, I understand that we have some customers who have experienced your product and have positive things to say about it. Absolutely. Testimonials are the bread and butter of my business. So let's, let's get to that. Let's those. get one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Venkman. <laughs> There's an unlicensed nuclear reactor on my back. One time I was chasing a class 3 ectoplasm around the old Habsham place, and I couldn't find it. It was in the bathroom. Fortunately, the goggles have a unique property where they can actually detect the ions produced by aftershave and deodorant as they interact with the ghosts, and I can actually see the ghost and send that baby back where it belongs. <laughs> no science could be applied to the thing I made up. That was exciting. <laughs> Except I sort of want to see that testimonial again with a woman playing the part. But that's neither here nor there. Hi. Hello. Hi. My name is Janice Shimoleski. I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. And I bought one of these six months ago. And I had a problem every day I would go into my bathroom. I live alone just with the cat. And someone would take the toilet paper off and put it on the wrong way. Every day I went in, there it was, going the opposite way. And I live alone. So I bought her glasses. Lo and behold, I put them on. I went into the bathroom. Sure enough. Sure enough, there was a spirit in there who thought it was funny to do such a thing. All I had to do was to call my priest, get some holy water, now I can see him, splash it on, and my problem solved. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. You saved her from fear of her own bathroom. There you go. The moment when the tidy old man becomes the boogeyman. Resolve. 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 And we have one more test. One more. <laughs> Good evening. Um, I was able to use your product in the alternate fashion when I wore it outside of the bathroom. I love cats and I, 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 I met my soulmate! Thank you so much! Well, there you go, a woman in trying to do the romance with the spirit, it's unlikely to go anywhere good at all. Yes. Yeah. It's true, but you know the pathetic need love too. Oh. That's true, and with your product, they have a new avenue for finding it. They do. Yes, and I cannot be more proud of anything than this thing that you are going to put on your face for several payments for an exorbitant amount that you will give to me over an extended period of time. <laughs> Which is a concern for tomorrow, you. <laughs> do we have any questions from tonight, you? Excuse me, I have a question. Please go ahead. Okay, um, so I understand that I understand the concept of the goggles and the flat and, and how they you know, like, you know, help me see the apparition these. But um, I was just wondering, like, you know, since we are the ones that actually create the smell and the other, you know, things that are extracted from the body. Um, are we actually creating these ghosts? Well, first I would like to say that all that is emitted from my body is roses. <laughs> I will deny anybody who says otherwise roses. Even here, the bouquet is overwhelming. It is. <laughs> I am one pretty flower. <laughs> so you are asking me, if not, I am mistaken whether or not the paranormal entities of which this will show you are not in fact a creation of ourselves. Indeed. The answer is yes and no. 
Next question. <laughs> <laughs> That's one to chew on there. Do we have another question over out here. there? Over here. Andy, what at all? Over I'm there. sensing in the over dark. There. Is over it Peter or something asking a question? Yes. Over here. Yeah. My, my name's Fred Pasternak, and every time I go into my bathroom, I smell something awful. I suspect to have a very flatulent poltergeist in there. But it leaves before I come in. Is there a way I could bring this up to a security camera, maybe with a motion sensor to monitor the bathroom while I'm not in there? Oh, that's a tough one. We haven't actually, you know, developed version 3.9, which would allow you to attach it to a motion sensor, a camera, and a Mr. Coffee machine. <laughs> and yes, your ghost wants a morning refreshment. Then that, and I like my coffee. Anyway, but the plans are in the works, and it is our intention in the future to create an adapter, much like the one for public restrooms that you can apply, which will make your ghost goggles much more tech savvy. That, of course, will cost a great deal more. A great deal more. So you're saying I shouldn't buy it now, I should wait. No. I'm saying you shouldn't breed because you're going to need the money you would apply to your children <laughs> to pay for these upgrades. You should buy it now, sir. You should definitely order it. I mean, how will you know if it was a terrible mistake unless you make it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't think... Are there any more? Yes! Oh, we have one more. Hello. Yes? I'm Teresa D'Agostino from Staten Island. Welcome, Teresa D'Agostino. I think that my boyfriend is lying to me about how much money he makes if I put on these goggles. Will I be able to see through his lies? Oh, well, no. What you actually want... What you really want there is my lion cheating hat line, in which you put on a hat. And if, you know, you look at your boyfriend and he's cheating, the hat then flies off your head and batters it across the face and chest until he confesses to what he has done. And of course, you are then, you know, left feeling superior, but alone and hatless. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, this has been fascinating. Sadly, we have to move on to other whimsical contraptions that people might want to purchase before they sober up. That's true. I'm looking forward to seeing the mouse trap that bores the mice to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Helen, we'd love having you on. We'll come back the next time you've got something fascinating, sort of like this, uh, to show us. I will do that. Just refrain from touching me. I carry a weapon. <laughs> Good night, everyone. All right. Thank you. Thank you.